Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the uh, Chains of the Black Death. This is a new legendary punch set, which is pretty much, in my opinion, a mini arcana. Because it might not change the portrait, but it changes practically all of his abilities, how they look. And, uh, you know, it, there's a bunch of styles you can get with the actual customization. And how it works is, this head, it counts... It automatically gets socketed with the gem that counts how many games you've played. And the more games you play, the uh, the longer the beard gets. So at, eventually, you know, it's 5, 10, 15, 20. Or 25. 25 is the last beard. And that, and then you get all this. And there's a whole bunch of weapons and, like, things that you can change to uh, different styles. You know, you can just look it up on, on YouTube or look up. This is pretty much the uh, set. This is how it looks when everything is equipped, you know, you can change the, uh, his sickle and then his offhand how, to different styles. You can either have this axe or a shovel that I will show later. And pretty much, it's actually really cool. I like it, you know, it's, uh, it's something different. It looks like something that Pudge escaped from. It also changes all of his abilities, so let's take a look. But yeah, here's the head that I was describing, you know, it counts games played and Dota Cinema watched, which I don't know if that affects anything at all, but here are the different styles that you get. You get the normal beard, you get this beard after playing for 5 games, you get a medium longer beard after 15 games, and then you finally get the longest beard after 25 games, which I can't wait for because that's awesome. And these are real games, so you can't do anything with bots. But anyways, let me equip everything again. Oh yeah, let me show you. Well, you already saw everything, but here's pretty much a preview of the entire set on. And uh, you also get a customizable loading screen, which I, I guess I'll show you later. But uh, here are different things that you can change. You can change the style of your arm to either be the shoulder of the Black Death Executioner or you can change it to the barbed shoulder of Black Death. You know, it's whatever you like. I just like the black one because, I mean, it looks cool. So I just keep it that way, but hey, whatever you want. And then you can change the head and then also the weapon. So you can have the, <coughs> excuse me, have the cuff hook of Black Death or you can change it to the makeshift hook of Black Death which actually looks a lot cooler I think because yeah I mean come on look at that either way they both are pretty badass looking so I'm just going to keep this doesn't really matter because I use a mythical anyways or the immortal and then you can also change his offhand which is uh, also mythical so like I was saying you can either have the axe or you can have a shovel but I mean you know shovels looks kinda of like his default so I just keep the axe and it looks really cool and yeah, just the pretty much the whole set looks really cool. You know, you can customize as long as you have the head on, it'll count the kills and what, or the uh, attacks. But I, I kind of like this. Doesn't make him look as bad. And plus, these pants, you know, they're really rare. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. But <laughs> excuse me. So yeah, I like to have the immortal hook. And I like everything else really. Yeah, you want to equip everything. And Pudge looks kind of lame. Well, that's the taunt. You don't need that. <coughs> excuse me. So here's the default pudge. You equip... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm a bit sick. You equip just about everything on the set. And, uh... He looks really cool, actually. I really like this. And, uh, I will show you his abilities. So here's a closer look at the set. What I can actually do is this. It's pretty much a mini arcana, in my opinion. You know, it's about... It's pretty much half the price. And, uh, might not change his portrait, but Make hey, you know, sweet. First not blood. too bad. Oh, there goes the bot. And, uh, here is a look at his new rot. It, uh, completely changes it. You know, it's a black death now. And when you actually move, let me show you real quick. When you actually move, there is a trail that follows behind them with centipedes and like disgusting bugs and whatnot. Right. You know, his hook doesn't look any different. All depends on your hook, but you know, like I said, his abilities all look your different. Your bottom tower is under attack. And uh, his flesh heap looks different, but here is his ultimate. Fresh meat. So. Fresh meat. It's pretty cool. 
Mmm, smell of fresh air. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I uh, hope uh, this video might have helped you decide okay, to buy it. Uh, go ahead and give me a comment and subscribe and like if you don't mind. If this, uh, if you like this, and uh, goodbye. Ah.